everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Quilt Collection CD so that you can make some patchwork templates at home on your computer. Open up a program like Microsoft Word or anything similar that you feel comfortable working in and then pop the CD into the CD drive. Now this just might take a moment to open up on your screen. Once it's open in another window, I want you to see it says Quilt Collection, close that window. We're going to do everything through Microsoft Word. So we're going to insert We'll go to the CD drive, double click on the folders and you'll see all the different folders open. So choose a background and go up to view so that you can see all the pictures. See now you've got large icons here and you can choose one of these many beautiful backgrounds. So you've got florals and checks, gingham things. Choose one that you might think match the photo that you're going to eventually put on the top. So we're just going to go with a kind of plain background here. And once it's on the page, we want to rotate it to the right so that it's going to fill the page. So once you've rotated, Microsoft Word, you can't move anything unless you format it first. So we're going to wrap text and go behind. Now we can put it in the top corner and we're going to drag it. See these white little dots? So you drag it down from a corner only, never from the side, so that it doesn't distort. Next step is to put quilt blocks over the top. So we go insert, I'm going to go back one folder up the top here, back to the CD and see the quilt blocks, double click on the folder and they open up so you go over to the view large icons. Now here are your blocks already made. Oh look at all those perfect points. It's just a matter of choosing which block you like to go onto this background fabric. Of course, you don't have to stick with the one that you choose to, at first. You can always go back and change it and choose a different one. But today we're going to choose, I think, hmm, yep, the pink Ohio star. We'll choose that. Now we've got that on the page, but remember, see how it won't move? So you have to format the picture again. Back to there and choose in front of text. So you can pick up the block and move it to the corner and we want to resize it a little bit smaller because that looks a little bit too big. And now we're going to copy and paste this same block. So as we've already formatted once, we don't have to continue to format the picture that we're pasting because it has been formatted. So you simply just press paste again, pop the next one up in the top corner and paste again and put one down in the bottom corner as well. So here you can see the start of your patchwork template. Insert a picture. So we want to get out of the CD now and go back to the My Pictures folder or wherever you have your family photos and choose Insert. Your picture will either be too big or too small. So it will need resizing. You can drag only ever by the corner, never drag it by the sides or it will distort. But you have to format it because it's Microsoft Word, format the picture. So now we want it in front of text so we can resize it bigger and smaller, move it around a little bit. You might want the blocks a little bit smaller. It's a little bit of filling around until you get the size that you are happy with. Remember you can always change these blocks to a different colour but I think this colour works really well with this family photo. And we just resize each little block and then you can move the picture around. Make it bigger or smaller or you can just simply crop the picture if you want to fit exact. Just got to watch you don't crop anyone's heads. Now this is option one. You can print it now like this already onto your premium photo fabric or you could add a text box over the top, which is really nice if you're doing a generations photo quilt. You want to add people's names. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a text box in here. So we're going to go up to insert a text box. Just choose a simple one. And now remember, you can't move things unless you format it. So format the text box over to wrap and do in front of text. Now you can move the text box. Highlight that default 
writing that they have in there and just simply press delete that will get rid of that and type whatever you like so we'll type in my family and we're going to highlight this so that we can change the font style and color and size we'll center it and we'll go down to hmm, look at all these beautiful fonts we have to choose from much nicer than using your own handwriting so now we'll go up to size and as you see when you click on size you can see it automatically resizes as you're clicking on each number so if it's too big you just go back one now we don't want any of this white fill in here so we're going to go up to shape and have no fill and remove that line as well so no outline now remember we have formatted it so we can pick it up and move it wherever we want on the page and there's your patchwork template made how clever are you simply save the file and print it on your photo fabric